In this video, we're going to solve this question. The question is, find the line of intersection between the two planes and also find the dihedral angle between the two planes. As you can see, we have two planes. One plane is because of 30 degrees to the vertical and 45 degrees to the horizontal. So the plane goes up 6 degrees to the vertical and 30 degrees to the horizontal. The distance between them doesn't matter. Now that we find our lines of intersection in our plan and elevation, we need to find the dihedral angle between the two planes. To find the dihedral angle, we first need to find the true shape of our line of intersection. To find the true shape of our line of intersection, we need to bring lines perpendicular to our line of intersection. I'm choosing the plan. You can choose the elevation if you want. For this question, I'm choosing the plan. So, bring up lines perpendicular to our line of intersection. So, put the next one y1 line. Now we need to find the true sh true length. So we have an elevation. We're trying to find a new elevation. So we use our height lines from our old elevation to find a new elevation. So our h1. Join them together. The two points together to find a true shape of a line of intersection. Now we need to find the dihedral angle. To find the dihedral angle, one way is to bring up points that are on the ground and that are perpendicular to the line of intersection. I chose to take this point, bring a line that's perpendicular to the line of intersection, it'll find two points on the ground. So I have a point here on the ground and a point here on the ground, and this is where my line intersects my line of intersection. So now we draw the point we found on our x1, y1 line, bring it perpendicular to our true length. Now we have found this point on our true length, we need to rotate it down until it hits the x1, y1 line. This gives us the true shape of the triangle we are trying to draw. So now we bring this new point on our x1, y1 line back down to our line of intersection. This point we found down here is now the center of our dihedral angle and we bring this point out to our two original ground lines. This is our dihedral angle. So the second method to find the dihedral angle between two planes is very similar to the first one where we use an auxiliary elevation, but that's where it differs. So to start off, we're going to find our auxiliary elevation by going perpendicular to our line of intersection in our plan. Like so, we're going to add in our x1, y1 line, and we're going to find a true shape of our line of intersection. Now this is where it changes. We're going to use our true shape, our true length, and we're going to look down it. It's going to appear as a dot, and we're going to use two other points to find the dihedral angle. So the two other points, like the previous question, are going to be on the ground line. I'm going to use the exact same two points. I'm going to bring these two points down parallel to the true length. Now we're going to add in our x2, y2 line. And down here is where our auxiliary plan is going to be. So some people might find this difficult. The way I do it is to count back two views. So this is one we're working on. This is view 1. This is view 2. We're going to use our x, y line in between 1 and 2. So for our true length, to find it, we step off from our xy line until we hit a line of intersection. And we step it off down here. To find the fourth corner of our triangle, we're going to step off from our xy line until we hit here. And then step it off. And for the other point, we're going to use our xy line again. And we get this point and step it off down this line here. 
that's going to get us our dihedral angle.